Today, we'll take a look at our list of the best firefighting and rescue helicopters ever produced or that are still in production. Watch this entire episode to see the impressive high-performance helicopters used for a variety of operations and see our top pick near the end of the video. Some helicopter models are developed not just to carry passengers or cargo, but as multi-utility aircraft that can be outfitted with a wide range of equipment to serve important missions, such as firefighting and rescue operations. There's a growing list of great helicopters that can be used to transport firefighters and their supplies, scout for fires, drop water on fires, do search and rescue, and facilitate law enforcement missions among other things. Some are powerful enough to carry as many as nine firefighters at once, or bring large buckets or tanks to deliver hundreds of gallons of water to help firefighters on the ground, especially in cases of huge forest fires or urban disasters. If you're new here, I'm Sophie, and you're watching Aviation Federation, your source of exciting information about the latest and greatest in aviation and beyond. We'll start this list at number 5 with the AW-119KX. Drawn from the design of Augusta Westland and manufactured by Leonardo Helicopters, it is powered by a Pratt & Whitney Canada PT-6B37A engine. It has a maximum cruise speed of 131 knots, or over 240 km per hour, and a maximum range of 498 nautical miles, or 922 km. Its maximum takeoff weight is 6,283 pounds, or almost 2,850 kg, and its service ceiling is 24,000 feet. The AW-119KX is a light single-engine helicopter that can be used for a wide range of missions. It is designed as a fast and flexible aircraft that can deliver excellent flight performance, versatility, and payload capacity. The flight deck is powered by the Garmin G1000 NXI glass cockpit, which helps enhance the pilot's situational awareness. This is also the first single-engine helicopter to meet all IFR requirements, giving pilots the ability to operate it in challenging weather and low visibility conditions. The cabin is easily reconfigurable to carry a long list of mission equipment, and the cockpit can also be isolated from the cabin. It also features redundancy for all main systems and uses a modular fuel system for the safety and security of pilots and passengers. The AW-119KX now costs $4 million US dollars. The Carmen K-Max is at number 4. This intermeshing rotor helicopter is manufactured by Carmen Aerospace Company in Bloomfield, Connecticut. It is powered by a Honeywell T5317 turboshaft engine with a maximum cruise speed of 100 knots or about 185 km per hour without external load. The maximum range is an estimated 1,000 nautical miles or 1,852 km and it can fly at a maximum altitude of 25,000 feet. The lift performance is impressive at 5 to 6,000 pounds or up to 2,700 kilograms at sea level, and it is marketed as able to handle heavy lift missions with more power than other helicopters of its size. What's interesting about the Carmen K-Max apart from it not having a tail rotor, is its fuel-to-lift ratio that surpasses other helicopters within its class, giving it superior versatility. Other than firefighting, this helicopter can also be used for power line construction, humanitarian relief, and other emergency response missions. An unmanned version for the US Marines was also developed in collaboration with Lockheed Martin, featuring LiDAR systems for autonomous cargo delivery. The price of this helicopter starts at 8 million US dollars.
The Sikorsky S-70i Firehawk is at number 3. Developed from the blueprints of the Black Hawk helicopter, this aircraft relies on its proven military design to survive the toughest requirements of aerial firefighting and utility missions. Powered by two General Electric T-700 turboshaft engines, it can achieve a maximum cruise speed of 145 knots, or 268 km per hour, and a maximum range of 217 nautical miles, or over 400 km. It has a gross weight of 23,500 pounds, or roughly 10,000 kg, and its service ceiling is a maximum altitude of 20,000 feet. Marketed as a multi-mission aircraft, the Sikorsky Firehawk helicopter has an ultra-spacious cabin that can be quickly reconfigured for search and rescue, medevac, firefighter transport, and troop transport. For firefighting missions, it can siphon, carry, and release up to 1,000 gallons of water in its belly tank, and it can drop water with high accuracy to dampen forest fires so that firefighters on the ground can advance. Some of the other multi-mission capabilities include giving critical first responder patient care in a medically equipped cabin, while carrying over 4,000 kilograms of equipment or supplies as internal pallets, or as external sling load via the cargo hook. This helicopter costs 24 million US dollars. At number 2, we chose the Airbus H225. This helicopter boasts state-of-the-art instruments and a highly accurate autopilot system. It is powered by two Safran Makila 2A1 engines, giving it a maximum cruise speed of 142 knots, or approximately 262 km per hour, and a maximum range of over 600 nautical miles, or 1,100 km, with standard fuel tanks installed. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 24,600 pounds, or 11,160 kilograms, and it flies at a maximum altitude of 20,000 feet. The Airbus H225 has been the choice of many commercial operators and government agencies around the world due largely to its long range and its all-weather search and rescue capabilities. It can carry 19 passengers, or up to 28 in a troop seating configuration, and for medical evacuations, it can also be configured to carry up to six stretchers. Among its heavy lift features is the ability to carry over 10,000 pounds or 4,700 kilograms of external load, and Airbus also offers a wide range of mission equipment for this aircraft. This helicopter's versatility to switch roles rapidly lets it do search and rescue work over water, and this is a highly trusted workhorse, chosen and operated by 20 countries. The price starts at around 30 million US dollars. Up next, we'll get an exciting look at our top spot for this video. But before then, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments section below. Finally, our top spot goes to the Sikorsky S-92. This helicopter set the bar high as the standard for safety and dependability in the industry. Operated in 28 countries around the world, and with over 2 million flight hours recorded across the fleet, it has a long list of design and technical achievements. Powered by two General Electric CT-78A engines, this helicopter has a damage-tolerant system that allows it to achieve 151 knots, or 280 km per hour of cruise speed, and 547 nautical miles, or over 1,000 km of range.
Among its list of features, the Sikorsky S92 is certified to operate in known icing conditions. It also has the Sea State Aircraft Flotation System, in case of emergency water landings, it has lightning strike protection, and it also has night vision compatibility. It can hold 19 people in its spacious cabin, and it has the same amount of seating space as a fixed-wing airliner. This makes vertical transportation possible in areas with a lot of people or limited access, such as offshore work for oil rigs. The cockpit features one of the most modern flight decks ever put on a helicopter, with advanced proximity and traffic displays and warnings, weather and ground map radars, and other computer-assisted flight planning systems. Brand new and full-featured, this helicopter has a price tag starting at 31 million US dollars. How would you rank our list of the best firefighting and rescue helicopters? Do you agree with our lineup, or do you think something else deserves the top spot? Let us know in the comments what you think, and be an active part of our community. Once again, this is Sophie and you're watching Aviation Federation. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to keep up to date with our latest videos. Thank you for watching, and fly safe.